Hi, it's Nika from Fabulously Creative, and I am ready to journal. I will be setting up my February journal. Um, let me just show you. I have a bunch of random stuff all over my desk because this is such a random project. It has no rhyme or reason. I did already pre-prep the pages in my journal, and I do that just about by adding a little watercolor. Well, actually, not watercolor, but I... Let me show you what I use. But I normally add a little watercolor to each page. This month I used something a little different. Let me just flip through to show you all these pretty pages. I was really trying to mimic the uh, pattern on the front of this because I really love this paper. And I only had like one piece of this paper left. I do make my own journals, but let me show you my watercolors. Alright, these are the watercolors that I normally use. And I do have a video uh, showing like the whole entire prep session. Like these are my little DIY watercolors that I made. And I get um, the watercolors that I use is a set at Michael's and they're like $5.99. But I take them and I get this little tin palette and get the little... I don't know what these are called, the pans, and I just mix a bunch of colors from those 12 tubes that they give you. And I did another one this month. This is not watercolor. This is gouache. And it's kind of the same. The color is just a little more vibrant than watercolor, and that's the only difference. It's almost like you're painting with Kind of like you're painting with acrylic or watered down acrylic paint without all the mess. So I have this one. And yeah, this is just, this is another DIY palette. You can get that uh, same gouache set. It's at Michael's. I think it's like $5.99. And it's 50% off this week. And I made another one out of this Altoids can. And this is kind of like my favorite colors. Like my little go-to colors. Like the pinks, the oranges, and my perfect little teal green. Like these colors don't come in the palette. It comes with the standard, you know, red, green, blue. You know, the primary colors. But, oh, let me show you what I have pulled out. Like I said, this is a very random project. It's just, I don't know, just my time to relax. So these were some large die cuts that I had laying around. Normally, I don't put die cuts. I just use stickers because stickers are just more random. But I don't know. I need to get these out of my desk. And let me see. I have some stuff pulled out from the latest, from this month's kit in my shop. I have this sticker book that I got from Barnes & Nobles. I really haven't made a dent in this sticker book but I want to try and use it up oh some Randy some random post-it notes little bits of stickers oh and in here like anytime I get to a sticker sheet or any planner stickers and there are only a few left I throw them in this stack and it's a good way to use up like all those little leftover stickers you know how you get to a um spot and it's only one sticker left and you know you're not going to use it in your planner that your journal is a perfect spot for it oh and i have this this is an old sticker book from the target dollar spot but it has like these little squares in it i can use those for little journaling spots so I am going to get started. I'm going to fast forward this, put some music on, grab your coffee, and just sit back and chill, relax while I journal. Oh, and I'm also going to zoom in so we can pretend like my desk is clean because I love that clean desk look. So I scoop all this back and we will zoom in.
still setting up my journal, but I will show you the finished project. On the cover, I added this tag. This is an old tag from the Target Dollar Spot, but it has like some little glitter sequence, something else I found from my stash. It says, all good things are wild and free. And I will just do a quick flip through. Let me see, maybe I should back up a little bit. I'll just do a quick flip through. And I had so much fun doing this. It's probably the reason I did not stop when the camera, when my camera died. And I really love journaling on pages like this where the background is just covered in color. I don't know, just writing on it just feels, I don't know, it just feels different. I like to leave little flaps and things. So if I want to do some hidden journaling or if not, I can always glue it down later. Oh, and I pulled all those die cuts out and I only used one because I don't know, it just didn't work for journaling. I don't know, it's just something so satisfying about sticking a sticker, you know, just putting a sticker down and not caring where it goes. Oh, this page felt kind of bare. Once I write on it, but oh, this is the other thing. Like when I journal daily, I do add little bits and pieces, like with kind of whatever is lying around or sitting on my desk will wind up on that page for that day. All right. Now this is another page that was kind of bare, but I just loved the, watercolor effect on this side. So maybe once, you know, I write on it, it'll bring it to life. And you'll notice like some of the pages where I did, where I tried like this cross technique, I left them kind of bare because I just love, I don't know, I just love the, uh, the paint strokes. Like this one, this one is kind of bare. All right, and then, oh, I did use one of those die cuts. It's not glued down, I just taped it in. Like if I have something to write about <laughs> right there, if not, I'll take it out. But as you can see, like this is the last, this is the last day of the month, but I had some few extra pages. So I just, you know, said, why not decorate them? And anytime I have extra stickers that I pull off and they don't have a place to go, <laughs> they just wind up in the back cover. Like, you know, why waste a sticker? So that is it for my journal setup for this month. And I may do like a flip through at the end of the month. Let me know what you think. Let me know what style journaling you do but i don't know i just like having my journal kind of already prepped so when i do start writing or if i don't have much time to write that day you know i'm just not i'm not writing on in just an empty page so i hope you enjoyed this little setup and i will talk to you guys next time